<clears throat> Give me a second. We're just getting up some stuff. <clears throat> Making sure I can monetize the video. It probably won't be later, anyway. That's done. Perfect. Hello, everyone! Sorry, I'm just uh, making sure all the links are on my social medias. Share. Share. And post. Right, okay. Great. I'm great. How are you? Today we're going to be playing Before the Storm. Um, kind of scared to be honest, seeing as uh, I literally just finished Life is Strange, and this is before Life is Strange. We're gonna see Chloe, we're gonna see Rachel excited, right? Um, just give me a second while I go do something real quick. Have I ever played Heavy Rain? Well, I've played a little bit of it. Um, it's it's quite good from what I've seen. Um, I've only played the first bit though. I would I would love to play that on the channel. You can get it on PS Five, but I don't know. I might play it on my PS Three because I do have it for PS Three. Um, I, it was the first game that I played when I finally got a PS4, by the way. It was, um, I got a PlayStation Plus membership and it was on the monthly games for that. And it was like, it was really good. I only played the first part though, so I can't really say it for the rest of it, but I'm excited to finish it. So I might play that on the channel, that'd be great. I'm just going to load up before the storm. I guess I can switch to streaming bit now. Please capture. Please. I think it's capturing. Yay. I have a HDMI splitter so I can actually see this on my TV. Uh, tell me if it's too loud and you can't hear me, by the way. think you should be here in the game. Please do tell me if you're not. Because, um... I did set this up. I really hope it hasn't gone wrong. Wow. So that's the menu screen. So far. <laughs> that is... Wow. That's pretty. Do I have... The bonus fourth episode. Um, no, I don't think so. Apparently, that's uh, the deluxe edition. This is just the original one. Um, it's the only one that's on um, PS Plus. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to turn it down for my ears. Sorry about that. Okay, I 
think I'm okay. Right, um, sorry about that. Uh, no, I don't have Deluxe Edition. I only have the normal one that's the complete season. Um, reason is I would I would have bought it, but I don't have money right now. So, uh, yeah. Also on the topic of money. If anyone would like to donate today, that would be very much appreciated. Um, once again, with stuff like Life is Strange, I cannot be monetized on these videos since um, all the licensed music in the game. And then I can't really turn it off unless I edit the videos afterwards and upload them. Which I was thinking of doing, but I like to keep live streams on the channel too. So I might try editing some, uh, doing like best bits and putting them on the channel. I think that might be alright. Um, kind of like some gaming YouTubers do. I think it would be fun to do that. And since they're like four hour streams, uh, I can trim it down to like an hour maybe. And there'll be just little short videos of like the best bits of Life is Strange. They would be so cool. I need to get more into editing though. Um, obviously can't really pay anyone to edit for me, but I'm gonna learn more about editing and then hopefully my editing will be get much better than it already is. Um, fun fact, one of the reasons I stream more is because I can't edit. <laughs> I mean, you've seen my editing in my comic dubs, um, but I, don't, I couldn't... I, I couldn't edit an entire gaming video. I don't know why. I just... I would struggle. Episodes... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we get to see Rachel in this one. I'm so excited, actually. Let's go! I'm so excited! Probably world record for actually starting the game within the first, like, five minutes. I don't know how long I've been streaming. Seven minutes? Not that bad. Usually it takes me about 15 minutes to get into the game because... Technical difficulties. Train tracks are giving me flashbacks. God. Wow. <clears throat> of course it's Chloe, of course, of course. <laughs> I was kind of hoping she had the longer hair. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Mom I don't know why. Would kill me if she knew I was out here. I don't know why I was kind of hoping for her to have the longer hair. The longer hair is when she was like a kid, though, wasn't it? I don't think she had it when she grew up. I didn't even look, I just jumped. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. If you're talking to me, I've only played the first one, and this is uh, my first time playing Before the Storm. I was told that playing the prequel before the sequel would be better, because I don't think the sequel is about the first characters. So, yeah. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. I, 
even look over here. Is there anything? Nope. Ooh, motorcycles. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I'm guessing... So this is when... I've almost forgot a name. Max. This is when Max isn't here right now, right? So we Max is not in this story, I'm guessing? I don't think she would be, because she hasn't, like, moved there yet. Or did- is this after she left her? I've already forgotten the entire story. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Oh yeah, cause David. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Excuse is that. But those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. <laughs> that was kinda of funny though. I understand. I understand really. And <clears throat> if I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Two of us is Goldie, three to one. Stake a thousand dollars. Loss a thousand dollars. Wow. I guess I should try and get in. Oh wait, what's this? An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around... Oh no. <laughs> how do they know fake IDs so well? If they look so real, how do you know? I don't know, I've never seen a fake ID in my life. I will be honest. Dog kennel. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. A second door inside. So close, and yet so far. We gotta find a way in, but I'm not sure if there'll be any... We won't be able to get in through this side. Perfect place for me to work. I can't tell, no, to be to honest. Draw. She sounds slightly different. But I was thinking maybe it's because she's younger. Absolutely not a meth lab. Oh, this is so cool. So it's it's graffiti instead of photos. Wow. Oh. Cool. 
Chloe. What? I am not gonna sound cool reading this. I'm just gonna read this in my normal voice, but... My name is Chloe Price, but you can call me... Okay. I'm an inmate at Blackwell Academy, currently serving a four-year sentence for crimes against maternity. That would be my mom, Joyce, who seems endlessly disappointed in me. Which, I get it. I'm no one's image of a perfect daughter, or student, or anything really. But who the fuck wants to be perfect? I'm surrounded all day by this so-called perfection and it sucks ass. Other things that suck. Mom's new drill sergeant boyfriend David, how hard it is to buy weed around here, having no friends, hypocrites, country music, people who say chillax, dad being dead. It's been two years since he died in a car crash, and I still think about him all the time. I've even been having these weirdly lifelike dreams. Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something. Other times I remember that he's feeding worms in a ditch right now, and anything else is just a fairy tale to make myself feel better. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this shitbug town. The pen I use to tag any and everything I want, and my shining personality. If I work at it, maybe I can leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know shit's been w rough since dad died. Money's tight, her job as a waitress at a diner isn't exactly yamorous, and I'm clearly not at all I'm clearly not all about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot, or when I skip out to go catch an awesome show, it's somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when dad was around. She could actually be cool. But lately there's a hairy dick monster that she let into the house. That- that's fucking everything up. David Madsen. A jobless, brainless, dickless little shit with a hard-on for the military and a promise to whip me into shape, asshole. I've tried to express these concerns to my mom. yet every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is kind of a disease that kills its host. Max Caulfield, MIA, ex-best friend, extraordinaire. This artsy motherfucker lo loves photography more than life itself and definitely more than me. She even uses old instant cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be, in, be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? When we were kids, we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and saved people and shit. Then my dad died, and her dad got some job up north and she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most, and she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken months, even though she habitually ignored my text so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know, deep down, that she doesn't care about me anymore and that she probably has all new friends up, up in fucking Seattle, I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, Hey Chloe, wanna dress up like pirates and be stupid together? I would take her back in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. If I had a nickel bag for every jerk-off guidance counselor or therapist who tried to get me to write shit about dad over the last couple of years, I would never have to buy weed from Frank again. I guess they think it helps me cope with my feelings or whatever. As if a new paragraph about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered to the underside of a semi-truck. And what the fuck am I supposed to write anyway? That he was the perfect dad who was always fun to be around and never angry, that he treated me like an equal, that he was constantly working to make our lives better, that he could always make me laugh even when I was being a bitch, that he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy, and that his barbecue grill is still rusting in the backyard because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mom and me to just pretend neither of us notices it. If that's coping, then coping can go fuck itself. Okay. Oh, okay, so we have... D. 
Dear Max, Dad got me this stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write, Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say, because we haven't talked in three months. Despite all my calls and texts and not that I'm upset or anything. Fuck, there's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe, the unfriended. Now this is more like it, here I can write to you all that I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Maybe one day when you return home and apologize for having forgotten about all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe the Journal Boss. Ready? So mom suggests taking a road trip next summer, and I'm like, cool I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David. The wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on mom and has stuck around since like a bad zit. David the mustache monster from Planet Dipshit. That fucking David. Anyway, I politely suggested to mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then. Or breathing. Hey, shit happens. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues, and I've got serious self-immolation. Look it up, nerd. Plans. That felt targeted, because I have no idea what that means. She can do better, that's all I meant, but she didn't want to hear it like that. Like I'm the asshole. Chloe the asshole. So you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story. I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't. I just didn't show up. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. Wish I'd figure this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from Blade Runner popped into my head last time I rubbed- EW! Wait! Wait! Am I reading that right? Am I reading that right? Okay, I mean, at first I was, at first I was thinking of Deckard and that smolder of his, but then Pris just totally stole the show. Probably nothing there, I think I just want her bangs. Chloe the electric sheep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm- I'm- I'm an adult now. I can- I can take this. <laughs> that was just so- that was just, um... I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> um, okay. Alright, we're going back to the game. That, that really caught me off guard. Why was it the last thing I read? <laughs> That is, that's uh, really funny. Um... Some say the world will end in fire. Okay, so we have to find a way out of here. Well, not out of here. In there. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. God. Again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. You started a backtalk challenge! God, this game is so much cooler than the last one. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. In backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. I'm so bad at doing this, but... 
Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> okay. To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Okay. Bedtime. Um. Then pick a comeback that reflects their words back at them. Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Again, listen to your opponent's words. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> Okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kid. Okay. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. <laughs> a girl like you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> And you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on in. What was I about to... <laughs> I was about to say, the salty splatoon. How tough are you? This is intense. Oh, shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. I feel like if we pet this pit bull, he's going to take our hand off. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. That dog is fierce. Should I? We can't go back in time in this one. Ooh. I don't think it'll bite us, but like. Is that guy selling merch? Wish I had some no. cash. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go back and pet the dog. It's probably a bad idea. What's her name? Delia. Oh, it's it's actually cute. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Okay, that was actually quite cute. Are you selling 20 any bucks? What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. Dick. No. No, 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 no. I mean it's band merch. Band merch is like super expensive. Sketch Central.
What are you looking at? Okay. Damn, there are a lot of people here. Have I seen everything here? Oh, wait. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Wait, that's Frank? Yo, Frank. Hey. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, Ben. <sighs> Suit yourself. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis when I can. <laughs> I didn't know that- I forgot that you could go back in time, otherwise I wouldn't have killed him. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Right, okay. Here we go. Is a no go. Fine. We, we have to go up the stairs. The action from up above. New dialogue. If I want to see the band, I'll have to find another way. Those guys are trouble. Okay, I don't know. Let's go up stairs then. Waiting for her to fall through the floor. 
I know she will, but... Rachel? Run. Rachel? Come on. Oh. Before I say anything, how old are these people? I gotta Google that real quick. <laughs> Not the gay, the gay hand. <laughs> no idea but I will get deluxe edition one day when I finally decide well when I finally have the money and also when I um, decide to buy Life is Strange all the Life is Stranges I guess except I'm not sure about um, True Colors oh no it wasn't True Colors the new one that's supposed to be coming out I really hope that that wasn't great news to actually come across to be honest if anyone knows about that this is kind of cool I don't want to leave this say it on this channel explicitly but um basically there was news about a new life is strange that's supposed to be coming out and the one reason people knew about it was because of certain things in hidden 
in the game by developers. Um, not Square Enix, it was... I forgot what the company name is called. You might have to look it up because I don't think I could say that explicitly on this channel. On YouTube at all. Just type into Google New Life is Strange game and it should probably come up. Oh wait, I better go back then. Sorry, I'm just getting comfortable. Sometimes all chat. I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important. Oh Even yeah, we got more. involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Wanna know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or oh, mom, if you're reading this, he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firework was the shit. Who knew rages like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. Plus, I almost got my ass kicked. NBD, but there was these two asshole skeevy guys who manhood I, whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalk plus Chloe is better than Max. Wow. We got um Frank here. For a drug dealer, Frank Bowers is actually pretty chill. He likes to act like he's the tough guy. And I have no doubt that he's done a few messed up things over the years, but to me he's like a scruffy dog. The tougher he tries to come off, the cuter he seems. I've been buying weed from Frank for close to a year. I've almost l never have enough money to pay him, and he always tells me it's the last fucking time, Chloe, I'm not your fucking friend. Then he always gives it to me anyway. Like I said, guy's adorable. Of course, if I ever did anything to actually get on Frank's bad side, he might not seem so cuddly anymore. I hear Frank rolls with some dudes who are w into way darker shit than keeping high schoolers medicated. It's hard to imagine Frank getting mixed up with anything really bad, but I guess you never know. For now, I'll just keep hoping that Frank is even worse at remembering who owes him money than he is at being intimidating. Wait. So I've done two graffitis. I wonder if I could do them all, but I didn't even get to do all the photographs, so maybe not. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Chloe! Wakey wakey, eggs and bacon! Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That. girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. I wonder if she actually ever showed Max the journal. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child.
You used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. I guess I should tear it down. Anytime. Literally any amount, we'll I'm gonna do it. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom, don't fail me now. Um... Everything's worth a shot. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Hmm. Wait, what? Who? What photo? Victoria Chase! I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I want to see the comment. <laughs> I'll read these. Did you hear about Firewalk coming to town? I checked all the local venues, but nobody knows anything. Not all the local venues, apparently. Dunno, but I'm bumping the thread. Okay, gents, here's a scoop. It's a private party, not as in you're not invited, more like you're better off staying away, and I know that just made some of you more into it than ever, so proceed at your own risk, slash abandon all hope, all ye who enter. Ever heard of the mill? Thanks. Oh shit, if you don't- if you go, don't look anybody in the eyes. If you look anybody in the eyes, don't look away. If you look away, why would you start listening to my advice now? Look in my eyes, my eyes are alien. Great movie. The Doctor. There's so many Doctor Who references! What are you talking about? Not of this earth. The only original though. Only the original though. What's the mill? That's adorable. Previous topic, Prescott's and the Illuminati. Next topic. Haiti Earthquake. Will be fundraiser. Firewalk, jealous. You you look hot. Where's the what who's the arm candy? Deborah something. Deborah Borgen, I think. So fun. <laughs> Glam, get it girl. Who's Deborah Borgen? With Rachel in the picture. Ugh, Rach, you're so gorgeous, I hate you. And who's Almond? Dude, that's Chloe Price. Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Burn. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. This is a really intelligent conversation. <laughs> what? I don't get what's with the fake name. Better living through chemistry. Better living through chemistry. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? No, I like this. Oh. I like that one.
That was pretty. Wait, can I look at other things too? Bonus outfits. What's that? liked the butterfly skeleton better than bird skull but it's but it's a tank top she was wearing a tank top in the last one right wait let me have a look i like to look at them all This is me in the morning getting ready. Like, I swear I look at like every outfit in the mirror first. No, I hate that one. That's giving Max more than Chloe. Whatever, I'll be the butterfly one. It's the, f the one that caught my eye first, so... Speaking of Firewalk... Heard of the oh, whatever, we'll, we'll do that one. ...to concert on the edge of town last night. If you were there, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a call. Tomorrow night... Uh, I really should get going. ...an adaptation of Shakespeare's The Tempest. I think I looked at everything. Let's turn the alarm off. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Me when mom says breakfast, but I'm still walking around the house looking at things. And she'll never know. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any more. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? What? Why? Why would she do that? Oh. <sighs> I can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Wait, what do they call like a... If a purse in America is just a bag, then what's a purse in America? Like a purse here is what you put money in. Like a little wallet that you put money in. Is it just a wallet in America? I don't know, man. I don't understand. 
<laughs> I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Wait, so are there two different types of purses? Or do you just put money in that big purse bag? Loose. Because here it seems like the purse is like a mini bag that you put your makeup in. But I think mom's phone is in her bedroom. I made this for mom when I was, like, ten years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. Ah, mom! Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Exactly what I was thinking. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard. No. Scourge of Arcadia Bay. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Okay. Elliot? Who's Elliot? Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Aw. Lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? Not much. Got shit to do later. Oh, okay. You finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. Your shit's here. Hell yeah. But tapped out, sorry. Your loss. Hey, you can hold it for me a day. Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe. You're gonna have me whacked. Yeah, please joke about that over text. Um, you deal drugs on this phone? Anyway, come on, it's 420. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Ugh, rain check. Max. So sorry I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Ah, uh, sorry again. I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe you should set up a time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. It's 7pm in Arcadia Bay. What is it? 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, Queen of the Crickets. What's the latest? Max? Oh, wow. So... Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. I wasn't paying attention to chat for like five, five minutes. Thank you. I'll heart that.
Right, that's everyone, right? Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. We did. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. That's okay. Every little bit helps anyway. Literally, every bit adds up. So I'm grateful for anything anyone can donate. Coming, Mom. I'm not asking for, s for a lot, <laughs> really. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Hmm. We will... Look at everything, I guess. Oh, the wine stain. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so. Nobody's fault, really. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. This is so sad. Looking at the house now, after being through the entire episode. I mean, the entire season of Life is Strange. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. The real estate developer Sean Prescott promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he will be ending the operations effective immediately. In a move not surprising to longtime residents of the region, the Prescott Foundation also liquidated the Arcadia Bay Steve. Steve door. I can't read when it's split up like that. Steve door? <laughs> the Arcadia Bay Steve Doors Association defined pension plan. Mich Michelle Kinsey Robertson, staff attorney for the foundation, defended the action as our right in recouping unrecovered losses against debts owed. Sean Prescott could not be reached for commit comment comment i can't read <laughs> that's concerning why do i suddenly want to get some fireworks a wildfire warning has been issued for all residents of arcadia bay fines doubled for illegal fireworks and campfires in unauthorized areas this is principal ray wells 
Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Arcadia Bay Gazette, tuition hike. Let me be empathetic. Nope. Let me be empath- Let me be- She just said it. Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes, since Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of press- Another one? Oh my god, thank you so much. I hope I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you enjoy any other content that you may watch on my channel. Thank you so much. I never know what to say. <laughs> That's my problem. Steve Dor is like a lumberjack but for the docks, I think. Oh, okay. Because I don't know what the hell a Steve door is. it even Steve door or is it Stevador or something weird? I need to check the pronunciation on Google, I'm sorry. Steve door. Because I don't want to be saying Steve door and it's not Steve door. Stevador. Stevador. It's Stevador. I was almost there. It's Stevador. Where was I? I'll, I'll start again. Let me be emphatic. This is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray, Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasized that, in addition to merit-based tuition awards, this year, won by sophomores Stella Hill and Brooke Scott, the school's program of need-based scholarships remains in place for students who maintain exceptional ac ac academic reward records. I can't read what is going on. I can usually read, guys. Why am I even trying to read it? I've just realised. I can literally just... I'm doing that. If there's any more newspapers, I'm doing that because I totally forgot. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Damn, she's definitely more strict than she was in Life is Strange. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? <laughs> pot roast? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Another? Oh my god. Thank you so much again. Oh my god. What is happening today? Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I need to like put shout outs at the end of videos now. Like. For anyone who's donated ever, I think that might be long list, but <laughs> I need to start doing shout outs. Ah, right. School. 
My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. And now we talk about the engagement ring. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll Thank you for that. subscribing, Crystal the Hellcat. That'll teach you to break. We share a name. What? Just spelled differently. I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Sorry guys. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Sorry. We need to put a top donation thing in here, but I'll have to edit that out of stream and then um, put like top donation. Uh, your currency is pounds or euros. Sorry, I spelled that wrong. Yeah, um, my currency is pounds. I live in the UK. <laughs> I don't get the UK, though, because I, I think we're, like, the only country that does pounds, right? I think... And by UK, I mean, like, England and Wales. I might be wrong, but I think Scotland uses euros. And I think... Ireland uses euros, but for some weird reason, Wales and England uses pounds. It's a bit odd. Most countries in the in Europe um, use euros, but we don't. And I still don't understand euros, so. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear what they said. Um, I mean, I did, but I also wasn't paying attention much. Um. Let's. Ugh. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. 
when he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Whoa, wh why did she shut up so fast? What was... Oh, fine, I'll be understanding. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. She really, really, really hates David. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. You know, I think I'm lucky to have never been in this situation, but, like, I understand it. Almost wish I could slip mom cash, if I had any cash to slip. Where is keys? I don't like the whole keys thing. That's just from, um, the last... Episodes. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Okay, right. I'm gonna say something, and I think I might have said it in the last uh, video, but... Um... Is it just me? Looking at that image, it's not Max, but it's... It, it's... It's Chloe. Who... I think it's... I think it's the smile. It's so realistic in the eyes that it's giving uncanny valley and it's terrifying <laughs> is that just me like it's giving you know that little cartoon um that came on like i don't know uh anyone who's australian or british might understand but I'm not sure what other countries it aired in, but it was called Dirt Girl World. And <laughs> if anyone knows what I'm talking about, it was on like CBeebies in the UK. I'm not sure about Australia, but I know it was an Australian cartoon. And, and it just reminds me of Dirt Girl World. <laughs> I don't know why. Please tell me someone knows what that show is. It was such a fever dream as a kid. Like... I just remember it coming on and I used to be so terrified of it. It's... <laughs> it's so bad. I need to know what it looks like in the remaster. Wait, I might Google it, like, now. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Give me a second. I'm gonna... Happen. I'm gonna Google that. This bad boy in my room. Chloe and Max pirate... photo remaster please show me the remastered one i can only see the one from this game <laughs> yeah dirt girl world is like so Bad. I need it's not showing me it. for mom's keys. Oh, I can't find it. Oh. 
they changed. Every time I read BTS, I just keep thinking of the K-pop band. I'm sorry. I also keep thinking of behind the scenes as well. I always forget the name of this. Before the Storm. At least the le- I think they changed Before the Storm released in a remaster. But the things like pictures, you can look, you can pick up, look a lot weirder. Okay. I can't yeah, find can't them our house for some keys. weird reason. I better get them to him. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? What is going on? It's oh, I've already to water these plants. I've already looked at that. It was Dad's job to remind me. So, here they are. Mm, there's his keys. What is you? There's no way. There's no Let's way you hate him that much. So he can drive away. I mean, she does hate him that no much. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Snow globe. God, when I said shake it, I didn't mean like th throttle it. The little dude's like, what the hell just happened? I gotta remember this is Chloe and not Max. Like. <laughs> Max is so me. Chloe is so what I would want to be. Mm. Who's this? Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Anyone else? No? Hmm. No more journal entries. And I don't know whether I said her last name right. Because, um, I found out recently what a piece of that what I thought was called Green Witch Meantime, as in the UK time most of the year. Take forever to get ready. We're well, for like autumn and stuff. Us. It's not Green Witch, it's Greenwich. And it does not look like Greenwich, no, it's spelled Green Witch. So now I'm just like in denial over it. And also, electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark was, plug was, does? Was that girl? Yes. Did I nice say. The last name, right? Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. No, because I already knew Worcestershire. Get this over with. Um, I already knew Worcestershire before I saw the spelling. <sighs> and then when I saw the spelling, I was like, huh? That's Worcestershire. I don't like spellings. I hate the English language. <laughs> you deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. Thank you, Crystal. I'll see you in another stream, hopefully. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? He is moving in, Chloe. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This used to hang in the living room. Guess it's ancient history now. What the hell, Abby? No, I'm not. David's lawnmower. 
everyone Mom needs to I know that Abby is never... Everything you, that. Just always think that Abby's joking. Dad's old camera. That's the safest option. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Hmm. No. I named her because I was supposed to be called Crystal when I was born. And my dad said no. <laughs> my mom wanted to call me Crystal. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a And cliff? also, I've always loved the name. Asking for a friend. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. Oh, why did I do that? I've already looked at that. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. It's not. People just assume it's that. It's a nice name. It it means it's a gemstone. It's the same as calling your kid like Ruby or Sapphire. Crystal is the same. His soon, he might explode. Not literally, but it's a nice thought. 50/50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60/40. Maybe 90/10. I've known people called Ruby. Who were children. In my primary school. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Power. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Uh, you know what? Fine. Go on. Fine. Whatever. Exactly my point. I've always liked the name Crystal. I always love gemstones. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. It's like Rose. Rose is a nice name. That could be Where either the going? flower or but Rose thanks. Quartz. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. <laughs> You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's I'm sorry, I don't know I whether you meant it in that way, but it's just reminded me of a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> that Rose is a dog's name. It's just reminded me of that that episode of Doctor Who. That's kind of funny. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of I'm gonna be so language. bad at this. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your. I can crap bigger than you, got it? <laughs> oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. 
You, <laughs> your mother, breaking her heart. At least she Ooh. has a heart. All you have is, what's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. If you were a man, I. It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. <laughs> don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Wow. That's quite funny. <clears throat> country? Oh, not the country music. How is she in the back now? Dad loved this song. Is this a dream? This is a dream, isn't it? I just can't tell you that. What a beautiful day. Yep, it is. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... This isn't right. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Oh, this is the- This is the crash. So that's what happened. It came on that way. Oh. So we saw hey. how it happened. The hell? <clears throat> Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. I was thinking about what I said earlier, and I realized that every- almost every stream I say that I don't have any money. Which is true. But hey, also, Chloe. like- oh. Hey, Elliot. It's- you had a hell of a night. People are donating. Um, it's just- are YouTube is not it. paying me people last month, so I have Even to wait until like- haters can't ruin health This month, and I really, really hope they pay me this month. So, how about the Tempest? Dying. Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was donating through thinking, Super Chat does go through YouTube, so they have you to pay me later on. Tomorrow? But um, I do have a secondary account that is available for donations, but it I'm not sure if it's harder to do donations. It's the Streamlabs link in the description. That's always there near the top. Um. That goes straight to me, but I'm not sure how that works in, like, taxes and stuff. I'll have to figure that out. 
It's a bit odd. I just don't understand why YouTube is not adding up all my stuff properly by the end of the month, and it's just- they're not paying me. They will pay me eventually. Eventually I'll just have like a massive sum of money just come in randomly, and I'm gonna be like, oh, that's where all the donations went. <laughs> Because someone donated me um, some money to, pl uh, to buy Helldivers 2 and then I couldn't because I hadn't got the money yet. And then I'm just going to get it all in like one massive chunk, which is like going to be such a jump scare to me because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it when I'm on holiday because I go on holiday in like two weeks. So I'm going to have to set like uh, some videos to be posted throughout that week so that you're not left without content because i don't like going a whole week without content anymore because it just feels like i'm leaving <laughs> but i'm not no way i'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks yeah right me too i guess all right. See you in cam. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Okay. So we have... Mm. Well, Sci-Fi Movie Club. At least not for now. <clears throat> How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Uh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. Wow. Press and hold L2 to view your objective. Good. <laughs> the way she writes it on her hand as well. That's kind of funny. Steph. Right. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks. On my way. Who's Mikey? The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. It, it's funny how Max and- I mean, Max and Chloe are different anyway, but it's- it's great to see each perspective. Like, Max thinks of Blackwell as such a great school until later on. And Chloe just, from the beginning, absolutely hates the place. <gasps> Victoria! Why do I like her so much? There's literally nothing that could have got me attached to her, but somehow... I need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey's. Ugh. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Why well, are you talking to her? Oh, Perry Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh.
Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. Not the way she walks. <laughs> okay, so, um... Samantha. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. No, because that's like someone speaking to me. <laughs> that's Samantha so Myers, sad. Oh, flower. I already know that. Okay. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Anyone else? Who's this guy? I want to skate the kids. Justin. Hey, price check. Gotten in any good trouble lately? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, meth central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, Smart and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. I already talked to this guy, didn't I? See you in class. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. They skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. That's kind of... Wow, I would never thought I'd be having such a good conversation with the security. <laughs> yeah, okay. Great.
I hate standing and listening to like someone because like they look at you and they're like, do you like it? Do you like it? And I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> it's decent. What did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. That was quite decent, to be honest. I, that was good. I won't lie. Oh, who's that? Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. I'm a scrap. Do you think we'll get to see, um, that one teacher, the English teacher? Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today? I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, mm -hmm. but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. Thank you. You don't think Trump more money should Prime be spent on the for arts? subscribing to the channel. It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep. I all could those make it a two-parter, but I'm gonna see how long, classroom. how far I can get into it first. Articulate, as always. And then if I start to like get quite tired, then I'll... I'll end it. Do not walk on the stage. Haha. <laughs> I'm on the stage. I'm on the stage, guys. I'm on the stage. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Okay, we don't have time to sit around. We have got to find Steph. Principal Wells. Hey. Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. I'm so joking. bad about the stage. You've seen my math grades. It's just a stage. Perhaps like... you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? What? Why is it your business about what I do outside of school? Unless she's doing it in school, then fine. She's literally doing it out of school. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, 
So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Sorry, Wellsy, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation for my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. That's a long time. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. Is it also policy to label certain students high risk and then single them out for special intimidation tactics? How do you know about that designation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. Okay. Why did she say she was based? I forgot. Um, did she say anything? I'm at the picnic tables. Okay. I bet Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Picnic tables. Over there. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Oh, fine. What the hell? We'll play Dungeons and Dragons. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. 
alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? <laughs> What's made of mad kebab? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you hmm. wish to go? I would fight him. Eh. It's tent time. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? Okay, fine. Okay, let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Um, okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface, get out of there. The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. 
Hmm. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? <laughs> dragons are pussies. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. No, no. Please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgeron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. I want to reach through the bars and grab the stupid key. You try, but he's incredibly agile. He dodges your clumsy attempt with ease. Then he laughs. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, uh -oh. laughing at you. Wait. Then he- I shove my ax through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face. And then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgeron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. <laughs> Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Oh, holy shit! Uh, Annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Hmm. I jump in front of Elmon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, 
Thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. We're gonna Eight, lose, aren't we? Eleven. Oh. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Hmm. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. I like Dungeons and Dragons, and I'd love it more if I was better at it. Once I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, well, the first time and the last time I've ever played it, um, I forgot what exactly happened, but I remember that I was threatening, um, what the hell? Like a child in a basement, right? And it was like this Wait. witch's thing, and we were like trying to steal loot. Me that. And True um, a jacks of so I was threatening Guess um, Prescott the person the who was keeping the children oh, wow. in the basement, and this I was like, really if you if you Prescott. do it, it's not yours. I'll give it back. if you don't give us the loot, I'll on the team now. <laughs> I'll, I'll kill them. Shit, sorry, that was my controller. Um, and. And then I rolled bad, and then I actually ended up killing the kids, so... <laughs> that sounds so bad out of context, but... That was a Dungeons and Dragons game. Wasn't real. Um... But I found that quite funny. It, it was very, very fun, but I just- I was really bad at the game. Elliot. I dropped my controller. I swear to god, this controller keeps dropping on the sticks. It's gonna have drift soon, I swear. As far as Blackwell students go, Elliot Hamden is pretty not terrible. He hangs out with some of the douches sometimes, but I got the sense that he's mostly a lone wolf, like this chick. Similar to my class schedule, Elliot and I have history but no chemistry or drama. We hooked up a few times shortly after Dad died, but there wasn't really much to it. I think I was just bored, or maybe a little lonely. Weird, I know. I don't always get where Elliot's coming from. He's constantly asking to do stuff with me. Which is nice, but I'm not sure we've had that much in common anymore. Sometimes when we talk, it seems almost like he's studying me. I can't tell if he actually wants to be friends or get in my pants. I guess I should be flattered either way, but I'm also not sure how much I care. Sorry, Elliot. Drew North is Mikey's older brother, and the two of them couldn't be more different. Drew is a legit jock, like the type that spends hours a day in the gym and has nicknames for his biceps. 
I've never been to a Bigfoot's game, but I hear he's really good at throwing stuff into other stuff, or whatever. Mikey told me that Drew is planning to go to college on an athletic scholarship, which is good because their family is even poorer than mine. Their dad was one of the fishermen who lost his job because of the Prescott Corporation. As you might imagine, this put Nathan on Drew's shit list. Not a good list to be on. In the war between a meathead and a shithead, does anyone win? Anyway, I don't think Drew's really a bad guy. I guess I wouldn't know. It's like we exist in two completely different planes of existence. That happens to be in the same school. Happy to keep it that way. I can never decide if Steph is the coolest or nerdiest person in all of Blackwell. Maybe both. She's definitely queen of the indoor kids, with all their weird role-playing games and sci-fi shit. I guess her dad is a video editor. She makes some sweet cash by selling bootleg DVDs. Don't knock the hustle. And I'm pretty sure Steph does all the backstage technical work for the school plays, which checks out. Another thing about Steph, she's into girls, and she doesn't give a shit what anyone else thinks about it. Mikey North is the captain of, the f of Steph's fan club and the two of them can be found huddled around tables rolling 20-sided dice whenever they have the chance. If life were one of those 80s movies dad used to watch, Mikey would be the nerd that's, that the jocks give weddies to. In the real world, if someone messed with Mikey, they'd be in deep shit. Mikey's older brother is True North, Blackwell's alpha jock. The truth is, Mikey is one of the few genuinely nice people in this place, although every once in a while he says something that reveals a darker outlook on life. No idea where he gets it from. Maybe Star Trek? Nathan Prescott is the golden child of the Prescotts, Arcadia Bay's oldest, wealthiest, and most powerful family, as they love reminding everyone. Nathan's dad does something nautical related. I think it has to do with murdering baby seals and turning them into death rays for the military, but I can't remember the details. Whatever the case, there's a lot of people in this town who hate the Prescotts, including all the fishermen he put out of work, and you do not want to mess with the fishermen. They smell. Nathan is... odd. He's extremely privy privileged, yet dark and brooding. Even though he's a dick, I can't help feeling bad for him sometimes. He's really just a weird little dude trying to figure out his shit, but he has to pretend to be all this stuff he's clearly not. Like an athlete or a cool kid. You can tell it fucks him up inside. Of course, the best cure for feeling bad for Nathan is to actually talk to Nathan. Then you remember what a wonderfully punchable face those Prescott jeans gave him. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Look at yourself, then look at him. That's hardly fair, don't you think? Are you crazy? Mind your own business, freak. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. All talk, no game, huh, Chloe?
He's still gonna do it, okay. Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Okay, so, off to school. Whoa. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most At first I was like, who is that? That's no Dana, right? see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like... Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. 
Most of them. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? I wish I was a theatre kid. I wish I didn't have stage fright so that I could actually do performing arts because it's actually fun. This poster definitely says something. I tried drama class in like year eight and I loved it. I just couldn't remember my lines in front of so many people. So I didn't do it again. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Sweet caller, Pepe. Should be life is drama. Oh, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. say nothing wait i don't know i really liked your costume thanks so did you bring flowers for my dressing room uh how about a belt instead perfect i'll let you finish changing now Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. It's so weird talking to Rachel. Like, I know this is a prequel, but... It feels so sad knowing what's gonna happen. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Chair Price, the view's amazing. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, why weren't you in cam? Everything okay? Yep. Does something happen with Drew North? Are you sure you're okay? Yo, let's talk later. Okay. <clears throat> How do you describe Rachel Amber? I've been trying to find the right words ever since we met. The crazy thing about Rachel is that I really should hate her guts. I mean, she's a straight A student, beloved by everyone at school, including students and teachers. She's super into acting and I hear she even does modeling on the side, which I imagine her district attorney dad and Stepford housewife mom support her in. It all sounds like a recipe for awfulness. And yet, Rachel somehow is nothing like the privileged golden child type you'd expect. She's not like any type, actually. She's probably the most surprising person I've ever met. And that's not just because when we met she was helping me take down some skeevy assholes at the rock show, but it's just this feeling she gives off. Like when you're with her, anything is possible. Fuck, it really sounds like I have a crush on her, doesn't it? Here's hoping she reveals something really horrible about herself. Soon, like a stamp collection or a love for cat memes. Something to make her a little less indescribably awesome. <clears throat> You know how things with mom seemed like they couldn't get any worse? Huh. The sad truth is, I suddenly have to choose between being nice or being honest with her because I can't be both. But how can I keep being nice and pretending like she didn't make a horrible choice of mustache? And why am I the only one concerned about this hostile takeover of our house? Today it's a toolbox and pot roast. Tomorrow it's... I should stop there for sanity's sake. And yeah, I know mom is stressed about money issues, but that still doesn't justify her horrible taste in men. Also, mom knows I've been skipping, which sucks, but in a way that makes me feel better about it. Does that make me a bad person? That I don't feel bad about fucking off? Just relieved that I don't have to waste the energy to lie about it anymore. On second thought, don't answer that. Chloe, the no good, very bad person. So the mustache drove me to school today. Yep, that's what my life's become. Even worse. He thought the ride was, was like a tell me how things are gonna be from now on opportunity. I shut that shit down real quick, but I have a feeling he's gonna run quiet crying to his mom about it because that's the kind of little man baby he is. Had a dream about dad again, the one where I was there when it happened. It seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember what's real and what's not. All I can remember after I wake up is how much I miss him. I hope that never goes away. The Chloe who wasn't there. Or was I? Have I ever told you about Nathan Prescott, aka Spoiled Dick Baby? Anyway, you know that old question about what if you could go back in time and assassinate- Can I say that here? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to bleep that on YouTube. Well, I worry I just stopped that assassination when I got between Nathan and an ass beating by Drew. Football jock and all around angry teenager. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. Spoke to Elliot too. He was super nice, as always. He wanted to hang out, as always. And I blew him off, as always. Poor guy, he's super persistent. It must be hard trying to give a shit about me. Speaking of giving a shit, I actually played a game with Steph and Mikey this morning. It wasn't terrible, but I'm not sure I have the energy to consi consistently care that much about anything. I probably should be concerned about how little a shit I give these days, but that would mean giving a shit, wouldn't it? Chloe, the Catch-22. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, when is she finally going to talk to Rachel Amber? Fine, you nosy bitch, here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school, and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning when she pulled me into the drama lab and asked for, this, for my expert opinion about true love in front of the whole class. I told her true love's the best way to get parents to buy tickets. Mr. Keaton, the drama teacher, seemed to agree. Then, Rachel brought me into her dressing room. Gotta say, that was the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to helping them get dressed. But that's Rachel. She doesn't give a fuck. She just lets it all hang out. Then Rachel hatched this crazy plan for us to skip school together. That involves jumping on a train. You know, like kids ditch school in the 60s. The 1860s. Stay tuned, Max. I have a feeling there will be a lot more to tell you soon. Chloe. Love, Doctor. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean.
Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. There's my chair. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? <laughs> Me when talking to anyone. Uh, so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? Oh, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. If you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <sighs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Blurt? Okay, sorry. I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I, d I don't know. Um, she knows a lot of places. She could have been born in New York, but I was gonna say she doesn't have the New York accent, but 
some people don't have an accent. Of, like, they were born somewhere, but then grew up in a different place, so... I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. Maybe the New York one. You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so... Nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my Yuhu. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Why not do another lie? I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. So you're a physician now? Last summer I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. <laughs> well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. You told one truth and two lies. Maybe I just needed to test you. Or maybe you have trust issues. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one.
When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. The way they just stare at each other for ages. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? I don't know whether I should, like, um, end the video after the next checkpoint. Cool oh, bracelet. I've had it, I guess since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's oh, not the more bracelet. experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day, I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! Don't be surprised if we see Rachel Amber gone. Yeah. Stop it. I know that it's got to foreshadow the events that happened, but still, it's painful.
I'm not sure how far into the episode I am. Otherwise, I'd like finish it right now and then do a part two, but I don't know how long the episode is. Actually, a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Okay, um... We're like... nearly an hour away from the end. Um... How long have I been live? Two hours? Um, nearly three. You know, I can probably do this bit because we aren't that far from the end. I had to, I had to look at a gameplay and then I stopped where we just are right now. And it seems as like 50 minutes till the end, so... Gotta keep playing. Let's do it. Let's try and finish it. Rachel's quarter is still trapped in there, waiting to be set free. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Depends how long it takes me to find everything since I'm a first-time player. Looks like this one might actually be working. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Sign, I need to find a tool. It's over here. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I don't want to scare them. I'm not all for scaring squirrels. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Hmm. Keep going up. I 
been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. <laughs> My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still... Wino has a classy ring to it. And for some reason I don't like any alcohol, really. I I like I like cloudy apple cider. There's gotta That's be nice. something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. I don't know what to use. Can I talk to them again or are they just gonna No. Whoa, that's badass. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. Oh. I really hope you can't see that. You probably can as well. You can't, you couldn't. It's fine. My TV was like... This TV will go into standby if you do not press a button now. What happens if I scare them? Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. <laughs> do you just keep scaring them until, like. Bye, you fools. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's just squirrels and birds and squirrels and birds. I don't know where I'd get anything. Should I be like, sorry, I don't have anything? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. <laughs> Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria? Chloe Price. I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. Okay. Mikey. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time. Forget it. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Ugh, like what? Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Looks like this one might actually be working. I don't know what else I could get. I don't want to head down there just yet. There's nothing up here. I'm gonna need a bigger prior majigger. Yuck. 
cliche much, A.W. and O. That is rude. Well, I mean, it's the Prescott's, right? So. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Steph? Still working on that quarter. Mm -hmm. oh, why did I go to her? I meant to go to the um viewfinder. Press got power activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now too? really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God! You just have the best ideas. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic. But also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now. Lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. All right. Let's see. After this, want to come home and listen to my Spotify playlist? Is it the kind of listening where you have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. 
I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. What is up with her? What did, what did I do? They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! What Holy the? shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act... Don't do it so slowly. Oh, thank god. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I, I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel! Run! What the hell? So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Ooh. There's not that long left. Check this out. What? Oh. That's actually quite sad. Of trash. Uh, 
Yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Seriously, what is her deal? Maybe I should have called her up. Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. What did it- what did we do? Sure. What did we do wrong? Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. I mean, she's got to come back, right?
Fuck this place. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. So that's actually her dad's car? Why are you crying, sweetheart? So we have because another nightmare sequence. Real. Instead, it's Chloe. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? 
What bright side? You made a new friend today. I don't feel drunk. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I guess I did that. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Wow. So we're gonna keep getting those dreams um, with the car crash and her dad. I don't even know what this one's gonna be about. Like, I could tell from the start of The Last Life is Strange that most of the um, set setting was like we were going to find Rachel and then we kind of did. But this is probably about, well, I'd say about Chloe trying to, like, come to terms with the fact that her dad's dead, but she didn't even in the... This is the prequel, so Life is Strange 1, she was still hating David until the end. So I don't know what this one's about. Just them, I guess. So many checkpoints. I wonder what's wrong with Rachel. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that? guy that we saw under this tree with that woman the ones who were making out that was my dad oh all right and that woman was definitely not my mom oh the worst part is <laughs> i'm not surprised i felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while i just I didn't know what it was. 
So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. And almost got punched in the head. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you.
Come on. thing you could have done. But I'll let it slide. Okay, so that was, um, episode one. Wow. This is... I won't say way better than the other one. I mean, it is. It is. Um, I, I liked... I liked it because it's the prequel, and I really, really wanted to know more about Rachel. Um, not where I expected it to go, but d we have it, I guess. And uh, how many episodes? I'm guessing five again. I didn't count them properly. I'm guessing there's like five in every um, season. So like, Life's Strange, Life's Strange 2, Life's Strange Before the Storm. Um... Wow. I'm guessing, well, as I can already see, there's going to be a lot more heavy stuff to dive into this time because it's not through Max's perspective of what happened, it's through Chloe's exact perspective of what happened. And we also get to see Rachel's life. Oh, there's only three? Okay, so that's going to be, um, one. Wow. I'm like half expecting this to end in like um, the, when Rachel goes missing because I'm guessing that would lead on to Life is Strange 1. Because um, I'd expect one of the endings here to be like Rachel goes missing, Chloe's like what the heck why did she leave me and then obviously lead into life is strange when we actually find out what happened but that's just my theory i've never seen it so don't tell me if that's true please um <laughs> if i just prophesized what's already written um i'll be proud but 
Wow. Because I don't know Rachel that much, it's like... I can't determine what is actually going to happen. I mean, I didn't really know Max and Chloe, but I could determine that the whole story was about finding Rachel, right? And finding out what happened. Whereas this one... It isn't finding out about much, it's just the life of Chloe and Rachel before Max came to Arcadia Bay. So I have literally no idea what the story entails, so... Yeah, it is. I like seeing how the characters were them when they were younger. Nathan definitely seems much more mellow than he is in Life is Strange, and um, it makes me almost feel sorry for him. Victoria is still a bitch. I, I won't lie. I at first, when we met her, I thought, oh, she's just a normal person. She's just kind of sat there doing whatever she's doing, and then and then she was a bitch, so she's still a bitch. <laughs> I really like uh, the new character. I love how I've just forgot his name. Entirely forgot his name. The kid, the kid who was playing Dungeons and Dragons, he was really cool. I really liked him. I liked his character. He was very me. <laughs> Except I probably wouldn't be able to kick anyone's ass like he probably can. Can't believe this game has made me want to play Dungeons and Dragons more. It it's kind of funny how I forgot how good Dungeons and Dragons is. And that's just the nerd coming out in me, but like, I've always been like, oh, I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. This is a nerdy game, as if I'm not a nerd. I've never really been into stuff like Dungeons and Dragons or Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, etc. Like stereotypical nerdy stuff. I'm into like, I don't know, would I say I'm a geek, not a nerd? I like games, I like, I like consoles, I like computers, I like technical stuff, you know? And also collecting different toys from different like franchises and stuff, and I really like Five Nights at Freddy's, which is also a game. Um, maybe geek instead of nerd. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is, man. Wow. I'm just trying to take in that episode. It's kind of like, um, with Life is Strange, you know the episode when Kate died? Um, it took me a day or two to fully process what happened in that episode. And then I was like, oh my god, I, I can't believe that st that happened still. Like, when I started playing the next episode after that, I was just like, wow. Thoughts on the soundtrack? Um, I, I liked it. When I said last time in Life is Strange, when I said that um, I didn't really usually like that music and I wasn't sure about it, I probably wouldn't listen to it. But now that I've heard it more, I like the music. I would probably listen to that on a soundtrack. Like, on like Spotify, I'd like put it on. It's actually really good. It fits, obviously it fits the story because they were made for it, but you know what I mean. It fits the story really, really well. I just really love the entire vibe of this soundtrack. It's great. I guess I'll wait for the credits to roll and then we'll go into the... Um, 
Let's exit and then see if we have a preview of what's going to happen. Because this happened in the last one and I got jump scared by a freaking train last time. <laughs> I like letting the credits roll. I will definitely be adding a uh, top donation thing one day. I need to edit this layout and add a top donation so that people can see the top donators and also subscribers. Hmm. I just love how many people can work on a game. Amazing. Okay. So we have, um... You attacked. You ran. I ran? We were supposed to- Most people attacked? Okay. You were kind to Joyce. You defended Nathan. Um, you told Rachel you're more than just friends. Cool. Uh, you didn't take the money. Money? Oh. You didn't purchase pot from Frank. Uh, you, you read Joyce's self-help book. You put the photo of William on the dresser. You didn't slip money into Joyce's purse. You told Elliot you wouldn't go to the play with him. You told Skip you'd like, you liked his demo. Wow, most people didn't listen to it. Why? You finished the tabletop game with Steph and Mikey. You didn't sabotage Victoria's homework. You told Rachel you believe in love. You shared earbuds with Rachel. You jumped out of the train. Hmm. Well, let's exit and see if we get a little preview. <gasps> Shit. No Is that David? Yep. Me. I want my fucking money. Oh wait, no, that's Frank. Why did I think that was David for a minute? I have to install the different episodes separately. What? What do you mean, purchase full season? I have it. It's on PS Plus. It says purchase slash install, so I'm guessing I'm allowed to install them. Um, wow, I love the menu. That is so cool. I mean, it's not cool because it's forest fire, but that's so cool. <laughs> wow. So, um, that was Life is Strange. That is... Well, Before the Storm. I should start calling it Before the Storm before I get it mixed up with actual Life is Strange. So, um, I guess I will see you all... I'm not sure... Maybe in like... A day or two. I don't know. I'll, I'll update you guys on when I'm streaming again. And uh, I don't know whether it will be another Before the Storm episode. It might be Minecraft. If I'm feeling it. If not, it will be Before the Storm. 
So I'll, I'll update you guys anyway on what I'm going to be playing. And yeah, so I will see you guys when I see you. Thank you to everybody who donated today. I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to everyone who was watching today. And I'll see you guys later.